my uh, presentation uh, titled Construct Constructing the Covers of Chinese Textual Round Sentences. Uh, this course covers the benchmark with uh, uh, multi layer annotations. Um, this is the outline of the, my talk, and uh, uh, this talk includes uh, five sections induction, annotation scheme, annotation methods, benchmark for discourse passes, and a conclusion. So we go to the first part introduction. And I, um, so in, in the first part, uh, I want to say some uh, basic concepts about the discourse structure. The discourse structure uh, concerns the logical and the topological interrelationships of discourse units. The, what, is, what are discourse units? Discourse units are the elementary discourse uh, segments. Um, so uh, according to discourse relation is a semantic and or logical meaning of the uh, connection between discourse units. So, uh, with regard to discourse structure, the core of the study is about the discourse relation. So, you know, okay, uh, the procession of discourse structure is uh, particularly helpful in seeing how humans comprehend language and the process of language in real world context. Because in realistic uh, situation, we process discourse. Yeah. So, in this sense, it's very important in the uh, NLP. Um, so actually, um, some scholars worked out uh, some theories, uh, but among them, two uh, has become very influential. The first one is uh, uh, rhetorical structure theory, uh, abbreviated as RST, and which is uh, quite well known. And the second one is uh, discourse uh, next slide, the three adjunct grammars. According to the theory, um, uh, well known discourse tree band has been established called as P and uh, PDTB. So today uh, I just fix on two uh, theories. Um, then we introduce something about uh, two theories and, and uh, the corresponding discourse uh, copper, IST, and it describes textual coherence uh, using the rhetorical relationship between. Uh, discourse units and the postulates, the high article tree, tree structure. Uh, and as you record the DLT tag theory uh, is actually the theory fixes on uh, the discourse relationships in the neighborhood. That means that uh, RST uh, can sense uh, global coherence. In contrast, PDTB fixes on local coherence. So, uh, in terms of IST theory, and the first IST tree bank called the ISTDD uh, was established in 2002. And this, uh, this uh, discourse copper has been quite influential because it, is, it, uh, it has been um, greatly helpful in analyzing this structure quantitatively and in the LP. So uh, there are three uh, features in this uh, discourse tree bank first. Uh, each discourse unit has been related to the overall discourse structure. It means that uh, um, it will form uh, a tree, a tree, a tree, a discourse tree. So it focuses on global coherence. So for each uh, discourse relation, there are two uh, status. One is a satellite, the other is a uh, nuclear. So it means that uh, one is head, the other is not head. Um, so nucleus means that it's a very, uh, very uh, is a, the more central part of the relation in a text. But satellites support the nucleus are not so important. So finally, uh, all such relations uh, forms the constituents and uh, then form a, a tree. So in the ISTD and the same text has, have been used to uh, annotate uh, relations. So you find the two classes of annotation. However, such uh, texts are repetitive and sometimes a little uh, confusion. We can look at the, the, the figure, you find uh, okay, uh, all, all discourse units have been formed into a tree and better the uh, structure is a constitute. Okay, we look at uh, PDTB. PDTB is a uh, uh, Ben, ben discourse tree bank 
uh, it is actually a shallow discourse policy because it concerns local discourse structure. So as I mentioned, IST uses a rhetorical relation tree to describe uh, uh, global coherence. However, PTP uses shallow uh, discourse to fix on uh, discourse relation in the neighborhood. Um, in the figure three, you can find uh, uh, PTP adopts a three class uh, uh, annotation hierarchy. Uh, in compared with IST text, the uh, PDTB texts are consistent, the hierarchy. So let us uh, use how we uh, merge your two species in the PDTB and the IST to uh, annotate Chinese discourse. So um, because of the greater influence of IST and the PDTB, um, their methods have been used to annotate uh, in different languages, including Chinese. And uh, currently, you can find uh, a valuable discourse, uh, Chinese discourse uh, uh, couple. However, they have some uh, shortcomings. The first shortcoming is that they just uh, annotated in one single genre. Another uh, possible problem is that uh, uh, the annotators didn't uh, annotate uh, uh, discourse from different perspectives. It means that uh, they, they ignore the multi-layer annotations. So uh, considering these problems, we, we tend to address these shortcomings. So we fix on run-on sentences in Chinese because the run-on sentences are quite prevalent in Chinese. And the biggest feature in such a sentences is that you can find a semantic leap among clauses. So uh, why we can we call it a run-on sentence? You know, in English, run-on sentence is not a grammatical because it has no grammatical uh, connection. So I use the name to define Chinese, but for, in Chinese, and it is very com common. Um, you can also find such a similar phenomena in English, such as in PDTB, you can find because uh, uh, no relationship uh, tag, but uh, uh, its uh, frequency is quite low. We can look at an example. My cat made her angrily. I knew she wanted food. I had I heard her to go to shop and make make, make her food. And this is a typical right on sentence. However, it is quite prevalent in, in, in Mandarin. So although um, it is a sentence uh, in form in Chinese, uh, it is actually the uh, discourse. Okay. So we found that some discourse parallel copper used to PDTB and ISD pipelines separately, such as post and country coppers or GUM copper. However, no discourse copper have emerged to pipelines into one uh, integrated system to any discourse relations previously. So that's why we want to use uh, two strategies, uh, the two pipelines to annotate the Chinese right on synthesis. And we also annotated the other types of information at the grammatical, semantic, and discourse levels. So we go to the second part, annotation scheme. First, we need to select a text and uh, to uh, adopt some standards to select uh, round sentences. And we adopted two uh, criteria, but the two criteria are easy to define and uh, annotate. We also consider various research contributions. The first standard is a semantic uh, leap. That means that there is a, a leap among uh, clauses. Second criterion is that uh, all segments must uh, be enclosed by a period. It means that within a sentence. Uh, I just mentioned, although it looks uh, a sentence, it actually a discourse in, in, in Chinese because there is no clear boundary. Uh, between sentence and the discourse in, in Mandarin Chinese. So we select 500 round sentences from 20 modern Chinese four long uh, uh, fiction uh, novels. So finally, we uh, got a uh, tenor text and the round sentences. Uh, next, we used the IST frame, framework to uh, annotate uh, uh, each sentence. Actually, it is a discourse. So, however, we 
did not allocate nuclear information for it. As mentioned, IST and the nuclear and satellite is a very important element in IST. However, in Mandarin, uh, in Mandarin discourse, sometimes it's very difficult to find which clause is more important, more informative than the other one. So we decided not to use nuclear structure to annotate uh, uh, such a structure. Um, as mentioned previously, IST semantic levels are more numerous and repeated. And uh, by contrast, uh, PDTB semantic levels are hierarchical and consistent. So we use the PDTB text to annotate. Uh, despite this, we also uh, border some uh, texts from other uh, existing Chinese discourse corpora. So finally, we form two class uh, uh, annotation texts. Um, in this stage, we also can study other uh, information annotations, such as uh, topic or chain. Topic chain is uh, uh, called referential zero and alpha, which is very important feature in Chinese discourse. So we annotated this uh, this feature, and then we also annotated the grammatical status, such as uh, some typical uh, structure, uh, grammatical structure and also including valence number. We also annotated the semantic information such as animacy and action or something else. So uh, such information contributed uh, to multi-layer annotations. Okay. We go to the third part, which is, uh, have, has a detailed uh, account of the procedures. We have uh, several procedures. The first step is to divide a random sentence into multi segments. The um, a, a, a segment is like a discourse unit, which is very, very important uh, in discourse annotation. However, uh, in the case of Chinese, it is a little, diff a little complicated because sometimes uh, a discourse. Uh, sediment is not a typical SB structure. Sometimes a verb or noun can be actors uh, uh, segment. So at this moment, we will look at a unit separated by commas. If it is existing the contents of verb, then we, we think it is a segment. Without a verb, probably we, we will judge according to the situation. So after obtaining discourse units, discourse relations, uh, using uh, PDTB text will be annotated, and uh, the other information will, was annotated meanwhile. So we employed a three recruited three annotators with a linguistic background before uh, studying the, uh, the annotation work, and then we trained them to annotate some passages and until and they have a higher uh, a, the agreement, then they began to annotate or sentences uh, separately. So we look at uh, the, uh, the uh, annotation results. So we also adopted two, um, two methods to measure reliability of this copper. First is the consistency assessment. And second, they used the, 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 the copper values. And the two, the two uh, standards are very, very uh, common in marrying reliability of annotated the copper. So we, we can look at the result table three. We found uh, we uh, have several perspectives such as segments, IST spans, PDB uh, segmented relations, and messy action. We find uh, agreement to reach uh, more than 80%. And the copper value uh, is also greater than uh, 80%. It means that uh, all this cop, uh, this cop, copper is uh, similar to be uh, quite reliable. Yeah. Okay, we go to uh, the most important part of this job, benchmark for discourse. So why do we call it as a benchmark? Because uh, we use uh, uh, several uh, popular discourse parser to, um, 
Zam, the Zam, the, cor the corpus, we find uh, uh, this corpus can be called a benchmark. So as you know, we, uh, if we uh, carry out a discourse parser, actually we have two parsing subtasks. Uh, for example, IST parsing includes the, uh, such a subtask, such a spam prediction, nuclear tip indication, and the relation classification. Um, however, we didn't annotate nuclearity. So it means that uh, um, as in our covers and uh, uh, IST tree will not be built. So it means that uh, uh, the, the passing task uh, would be not so, so heavy. Yeah. So we applied a standard uh, micro average the F1 scores on spin. Because we reduced the one uh, one subtask uh, in the traditional uh, IST discourse parser um, as S -SP, SP between EDUS and discourse relations. As I mentioned, we we follow the uh, IST framework, but we use the PDDB text or annotator discourse relation. So at this moment, we uh, actually can use two kind of discourse parsers to examine our covers, but, but uh, we, we think uh, IST discourse parser may be uh, more effective uh, to examine our discourse. So we modify the three typical IST parsers. Uh, first is bottom up, which, is, uh, which was uh, proposed in 2014. The second is top down, and it was proposed to sound 20. And last one, I, I, ISTM was, uh, uh, was proposed in last year. So we, we modified the three IST passers and uh, we have some uh, good results. According to the results, we found that modified passer from the, the code in 2021 uh, gets better performance the other system. How, how, however, uh, the three passes perform quite similarly in spare in two uh, separate tasks. It means that uh, this, co this covers uh, performs quite sta stably, if, given that we use the three uh, IST passers. It means that uh, this course can be acted as a discourse a tree bank benchmark. Yeah. So, but, but there is a, a, a limitation that uh, if we compare it with the, the human um, um, recognition, we found that there's still a, a gap, uh, a large gap. So we uh, attempted to improve uh, the, the, the gap in the future. Um, we go to the last part, conclusion. We have three uh, uh, items. First, study collector five. Uh, and uh, round sentences that were annotated at different levels uh, at their discourse uh, grammatical and uh, semantic levels. A new discourse cover integrated strength in RST and the PTDB with Chinese discourse characters. It means that this covers can be analyzed by RST and the PTDB frame, frameworks. And uh, through a number of tests, the multi-layer discourse covers can be served as uh, evaluated benchmark. Uh, realistic Chinese just uh, passing. I think in the future, probably we can adopt a similar idea to annotation in other languages. Okay, thank you very much.